So I've just gone out of Claude and seen this thing. Do you want to build from your imagination? I seen it on my phone and accidentally clicked on it today. And this mad thing's popped up. Ask Claude to make interfaces on the fly and explore prompts in an imagined workspace. Off oh, tight, it's got a bit of background music too. So it comes to this page here. Um, let's get into what the heck is going on. So as you've seen, Claude Sonnet 4.5 has just been released. I've actually made a video on this comparing it to GLM 4.6, which is... Uh, because Claude's basically like, we're the best, and then GLM was like, we're just as good and we're eight times cheaper. I checked them out, they are, yeah, like eight times cheaper, but they're not as good. Check the channel out if you want to see the actual comparison. But anyway, so, through this release, they've also then released this, uh, like a bunch of other stuff, so like the Claude Agent SDK, etc. But also, this here, which is uh, an experimental new way to design software. So we're going to watch this video... Kicked my kids' stuff. Don't know if you heard it. Uh, we're gonna watch this video, see what they're what they're up to. What even is this? Um, apparently, join generate software on the fly. No functionality is predetermined. No code pre-written. I don't know. So we're gonna watch the video and then we're gonna go and try it out. Let's see. We've been experimenting with a new way for AI to build software. It's called Imagine with Claude. Imagine with Claude is still building software but we've cut out the middleman. Instead of writing code that describes this text box, Claude just makes the text box. We've given it access to software tools that construct software directly and substantially faster. Here, Claude... Wait, so it's like a VM? So it's like it has its own virtual machine that it creates stuff in? Claude isn't writing code in the standard way. It doesn't have to plan it all out in advance. Instead, it generates new software on the fly. When we click something here, it isn't running pre-written code. It's producing the new parts of the interface right there and then. Oh my God. This is literally, I don't, I won't be able to find the video because I make so many videos, but I actually made them from my school community. I predicted this being like the next advancement in AI or like one of the to top advancements is that we have software such that it just creates it when you need it. So like everyone gets a different UI, everyone gets a different way of seeing it and it will be based on your preferences. So like it will learn what you like, what you don't like, where you click, where you don't and then it will start to create software that's enhanced for you specifically as the user. So then no software, no website is like pre-designed. This is incredible. As you can see from the thought process, Claude is working out from the overall context what you want to see. The user has clicked on X, so that must mean they want to see Y. It then produces it right before your eyes. But then something I keep wanting to look up, man, is... Um, how, first of all, how is this so fast for like producing software? But secondly, how energy intensive is this? Are we going to run out of water? Is it actually a death cult? On the surface, this might seem like only a subtle distinction from what you've seen before. And the example we've picked here is just for fun. But the underlying approach of this experiment is quite different. This is software that generates itself in response to what you need, rather than following a predetermined script. In the future, will we still have to rely on pre-made software? Or will we be able to create whatever software we want as soon as we need it? With this new experiment, you can imagine things being very different. The only problem with it being imagined like when you need it is the idea of like, you don't even know what you want, you know? And that's one of the biggest problems I've found, like even just with vibe coding generally, is you don't even know what you want to make. You don't even know the problem really you're trying to solve. You kind of learn that as you create the thing or you learn that as you create the business. You learn that as you create the YouTube videos what your YouTube channel is even about, really. Like, you know, you think you know, but you have no idea. Um, and so, yeah, that's interesting. So, oops, my battery's low. So anyway, it's because we've been making a bunch of videos. I started another channel as well. Look on tech, where I whinge about other stuff. All about tech. So let's give it a try and we'll see. So we'll, we'll just go along with some of this stuff. So, see, imagine this is 
Steve Jobs desktop. Boom. What's it going to make for me? The user wants to imagine this, blah, blah, blah. Hey, this was much faster in the demo. It says it doesn't think before it does. It does. Get rid of that. So what's it creating here for me? So think different. Little, what's this little Steve Jobs website? Product launches. Little Steve Jobs website. Why would he have this on his actual computer? Is that it? Oh, context. Right, so we can have up to 100k context tokens. Right, so let's interact with some stuff. So let's go to iPod. Oh, see that little, 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 little Mac loader upper? Um, what is it they call it? Throbble. <laughs> it's made a little iPod. <laughs> That's cool, man. And it's going to tell me about this. So with iPod, blah, blah, blah. Let's get 10 hour battery, etc. Can I click on stuff? That would have been cool if I can click on things. We'll get rid of that. We'll go back here. Click Simplicity. What's this going to bring up? Just a little, a little quote about Steve Jobs. That's underwhelming. Let's go to Cloud Code instead. Let's open that up. Does this mean we can just run Cloud Code directly in this little VM? And then Cloud. That's that's a cool way to say it. What is Cloud? Let's open that up and see. So Cloud. I don't know why they say this is like, I feel like companies do this all the time. Like, oh, you can use uh, Claudia, I imagine, to create user interfaces on the fly. It's not, it's like creating a whole virtual machine with a with an AI as an operating software. This is crazy. So it's a game. Press button to start your adventure. Press the space bar. Why is it not doing anything? Is it loading? Nah, it's just broken. Claude is broken. So we'll shut that down. Claude codes here, but it's not doing anything. Ah, look at this beta mode. It's not even working, mate. Oh, I can move these. Hey, that's pretty cool. Um, let's make paint. Make MS Paint. I want it with the with the the files. See, like the little fire emoticon things you can move. You can draw. Boom. It's gonna be a throwback. So I wonder if it will just make paint now on here. Making it make a browser. What can I actually make? What did they make in the demo? Let me go back and check. Shakespeare and stuff. Written code. It's yeah, yeah. A Scottish guy. I'm the Scottish guy here. So let me see what's happening here. Blah blah blah. It's making like a little theater thing. So see, that's the thing. Sometimes with demos, is like they create a happy path kind of thing. Stamps. Oh, ho, that's the thing. Come on, let me draw. Oh, it's loading. Let me see. Load, 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 load. And then I can draw with it. This is proper. It reminded me of school. Oh, it's still loading. Is it loading? Now you can draw with it here. So that is like the highlight of my primary school. It's like one of the only memories I have. I like three memories from primary school. One of them is getting sent out of class and then forgotten about for what felt like an entire day, but in reality it's probably ten minutes. Another one is this fire stuff, and another one is just sitting standing by the water cooler. Um, not going up to much. I just remember a book being there. Oh, that's it. It's because I remember I didn't bring that book back after summer, so I ended up. I accidentally stole it. I've never stolen it before. Even now. So, the core memories. Anyway, why is it taking so long to do it? It's not doing anything. If I've got a pencil, can I draw? No. It's not letting me do anything. Oh, this sucks. Let me close this down. So instead, let's uh, redo this and we'll just go through one of the little Happy Path demos that they've already made up. For a medieval medieval coder, come on then. What you gonna what you got from me, man? User wants me to build this. Blah blah blah. Surprise me. I don't want to see you're thinking. Medieval coders workshop. Ancient tools for modern sorcery. Tome oracles, rune carver, mystical abacus, sacred codex. Hey, that looks cool. Let me click on that. I wonder if it's like Codex or Claude Code, but it's like in a scroll. JavaScript scrolls. I've got a Python scrolls. Can I write that? Oh, no way. Beautify. 
beautify my code, minify my code. I can't even think of any Python off the top of my head, but that is pretty cool. Will it actually run code? Fuck do this. Oh no, it's just gonna change it. Boo! Oracle's Oracle's Chamber. Oracle. The Oracle's Chamber. Welcome, brave coder. Ready for command? Enter thy command. LS. And then I've pressed enter. Oh, hey. Hey. That's cool. Let me see. Can I run stuff? The Oracle hath guided thee to the ancient SRC chamber. What's in here? Oh, I see everything in here in Alder. Hey, it's actually showing me stuff. Spell compiler. That's pretty cool. So Oracle's Chamber is like a terminal command prompt. Mystical Abacus. I wonder if this is like calculator, obviously, but if I can just move stuff around. No, it's just an actual calculator. Boo. Mixed colors. So let's see if this will work. Because last time a little paint didn't work. Alchemist's palette. Let me see. Or is it just color? It just tells you colors. The hex of colors. The hex of one color. Blue. 3B82F6. Copied to the scroll keeper. Yeah, that's underwhelming that one. Manage thy clipboard archives. Forge ASCII art. Oh, hey. Here we go. This will be cool. Let me get it to say AI looking some ASCII art. So, choose the style. Oh, hey, this is going to be well cool. <gasps> this is cool. Oh, hey, didn't do it right there, did it? Let's try again. Nearly, nearly, but not quite. Only only I know it's supposed to say I look because I asked you to say that. Let's do block letters instead. Let's see if it does this one right. And after this, we'll uh, we'll just leave. Hey, yeah, look, it says run. Anyway, there you go. That's uh, imagine. So imagine all the people who aren't going to use this because it's actually pretty rubbish. But it's cool. It's a cool idea going forward, which is this like OS which automatically creates stuff because it's AI. Uh, what do you think about this? I think this is the way things are going to go if AI can get good enough. But unless AI can get good enough, maybe not. Maybe Anthropic join forces with NVIDIA and Apple. Nah, it won't be Apple. Will it be Windows? Nah. Maybe Linux. They're going to join forces with HP. Maybe. HP, NVIDIA. Anthropic, bring out a laptop. Laptop has an NVIDIA 5 grand processor in it. Your operating system on the fly. Maybe, we'll see. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!